Welcome back. In tonight's Reiner Report, many of you have questions about how organizations can project or even call a winner in an election before all the votes are counted. Now, of course, at ABC 10, we stand for you. So political reporter Morgan Reiner is joining me now to break down the process. Chris, within an hour of polls closing Tuesday night, the Associated Press and other organizations called it. Newsom defeated the recall. And since you asked how that's possible, I brought your questions to an expert. Paul Mitchell with Political Data Incorporated, a company that tracks ballots, said it comes down to two things. First, the gap. How many people voted yes versus no? In this case, the amount of people who voted no on the recall far outnumbered the yes. Second, how many ballots are left and can they fill that gap? Sometimes uh, the number of ballots outstanding will be greater than the gap between the two candidates and a race will still get called because they know that of those ballots to be counted, it's very, very unlikely that you would see such a polarized result that's so different from the current, like the current state of the race, that it wouldn't be enough to flip it. Now, when the gulf between the yes and the no or between two candidates is really narrow, let's say that this was a one point race. I don't think anybody would be counting it uh, or calling that race. If, if this was a one point race, nobody would be calling it because that gap is too small. He said in California, there's a blue shift of ballots that start coming in once the polls are closed. So the large gap added in with that blue shift made it confident early projections. The Associated Press saying themselves, the gap was far too big for the yes to catch up. Votes are still being counted, so the lead will probably narrow, but not by enough to make a difference. That is good perspective. Morgan, we thank you for looking into that question.